This was the second game of this new competition from the Premier League this term. It's a group affair to begin with. New signing Deshaun Redan's warming up nicely. That was his fourth goal in the last few weeks for 1-0. Another good ball in from Billy Gilmore allowed Mark Gurhey to make it two. More celebrations for the young defender who scored in the England under-17. Sealed the win after the break. Good work from Redan again. And Charlie Brown with a tap-in. Six for the season for him now. Full of committed men forward, and this could be the breakaway as well as Louis Langstaff potentially puts McCauley away, and he should score without his boot. McCauley. Ball and Camacho is away, he's got Longstaff in support. She need him, doesn't need him. Wonderful finish. And still forward there, and it's another good cross in, and it's a goal for Tom Clayton. This one. Oh, what a wonderful free kick from Rafa Camacho. And here at Little Heath, not that it's hampering McCauley, who's got support from Curtis Jones, should he need him? And it's really unselfish from him, and that is the way to play the Liverpool way, isn't it? Curling to Liverpool today, and they're not finished yet, as the ball gets fizzed across, looking for Miller, weaves his way, Miller. Great finish. near side it's a reverse pass looking for Balogun and Balogun finds the net and it's a dream start for the Gunners and Smith Rowe is able to carry some distance two in the area this is John Jules and that's number two it's John Jules stepping up for what could be his second of the first half and it is it's a very well taken penalty alongside him and this is Clark it's a turn it's a shot and it's number four Saka involved again that's the cross, that's a header, that's the goal. Wolves have one back. Mills, who leaves Dominic Thompson for dead, it's opened up now. A couple in the middle to aim for. Just behind Samuels, Thompson arriving, Thompson. Trying to get it in towards Greenwich, it might drop to Zaretto here, who bends it beautifully. And totally against the run of play, it's Stoke City who have the lead.